How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm very excited to talk about the Array.Includes method. So this method allows you to check if an element exists in an array. Let's just define a new array up here uh, called just say uh, names equal to uh, Dom, Bob and Mary. So now what if you want to know if the name Dom is in that names array? We can use the includes method to do this. So we can simply just console.log. We can call names.includes. Now the includes method takes a single parameter and you just put in the value that you want to test against. For example, DOM. Alright, let's now go in the browser and refresh the page. And we see true, because obviously the value DOM exists in this array. If you make it, for example, amber, save that, refresh, we get false. It's very simple but very useful. And for a while, JavaScript has been lacking this method uh, built in. We've always had to you know, modify the prototype or use a custom library to, to achieve this, but now it's built in and it's very convenient. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.